Hi, my name is Giuseppe. I'm Tyler. And I'm Sam. And we're group 150. So it states, the question states that you have been visiting a distant planet. The planet's mass is twice of the Earth's, but free fall acceleration is one fourth of that at the surface of the Earth. Now, there's two parts to this question. Part A is asked, what is the planet's radius? And part B asks, what is the minimum speed of the rocket to escape the planet? Now, what we do know is, is Newton's universal law of gravitation, which is Fg or equals big G at times at big M over R squared. Now they're asking for one fourth of the, for the in the problem they're asking one fourth of the force of gravity Earth. So we just multiplied one fourth with the force of gravity, and it will be equal to big G. And they're asking for m to be multiplied by two, which is what we've done over the radius squared. Now I'll hand it off to my partner Sam over here. He'll explain the next part of the problem. Yeah. So uh, what we have here, like you said, was the um, the gravitation, the universal law that Newton had um, in place. So um, we ha we're going to multiply the gravitational force of Earth by one fourth because the planet's um, free fall acceleration is one fourth of that of the surface of Earth. And then this is the um, the gravitational constant, which we find is six point six seven three times ten to the negative eleven. And um, and then the mass is times is multiplied by two because the Planet's mass is twice of Earth's, so um, that's all over the radius, which we're going to find um, when we plug everything in. And this is the gravitational or the gravitational force of Earth, like I said. And um, once we do all that, we can find that the radius of the new planet is equal to 1.8 times 10 to the seventh power, um, and, and it's in meters. So, yeah. That's all for part A. I'm handing it off to Tyler, this one. who will explain part B. Yeah. Yeah. OK, so in order for us to solve for part B, which is uh, what is the minimum speed for the rocket to escape the planet, we needed to figure out the radius, which we did in the previous uh, part, in part A. So the formula or the equation we use to solve for V is V equals 4GM over R. And we take the square root of all of that and since we saw for the radius in part A, we can just plug in all of our values like we did. So we know the gravitational constant is to be 6.673 times 10 to the negative 11 times the mass of Earth, which is 5.972 times 10 to the 24th, multiplied by 4, and then we divided by the, the radius, which we figured out in part A. So you work it all, all together, and it will ultimately end in getting... 9,410.53 meters per second. Right. Yeah. So that's all for this problem. Thank you for listening. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes.